Hey, how you doing? Chris here. How's everybody doing? So I've been really busy strengthening up this array. Uh, had some uh, very strong winds here in Oklahoma. Wildfires, you name it. It's been pretty rough the past week or so. So I got this array set up, but it just wasn't strong enough. So I'm going to take you through some of the things I did to strengthen up the uh, uni strut, the super strut that I got at Lowell's. Uh, more specifically, the hardware that I used was not cutting it. So I got some better hardened grade 5, grade 9 bolts and washers and, and all that. And just strengthened the heck out of this thing. And I'll take you through everything that I did. I'll, we'll go behind the array and I put some cross braces in there too. Um, and you'll see exactly what I did. <laughs> but I'm very happy with way it came out. You know, I'd never done one of these before, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos and, you know, took a lot of advice from folks like Bill and Rose's off-grid solar cabin and Kenny Vire, KVUSMC, and Johnny Brower, and so many people uh, have inspired me to do this. And, and I also have a Renewable Energy Facebook page that I uh, administer too, so and a lot of help from them too. So this is just kind of a... <laughs> you know, do-it-yourself project, and it's working. Gotta, gotta tell you, uh, 545 watts off of 600 watts in panels, that's like 91% of the rated power output on this, uh, on this array. Smoking, smoking power. And of course, those are wired as one big panel in series, so I'm getting the highest voltage uh, I can out of there and string down 125 foot uh, PV feeder cable line. So uh, high voltage works, high voltage works. Um, so let's take the camera off the stand here and I'll show you uh, some of the problems I had with the hardware and then we'll get behind the solar panel array and I'll show you all the good stuff. Okay, hang on. And I start, sorry about this wind. If it's picking it up on the microphone, I sincerely, sincerely apologize for that. Okay, so let's go over here to the table where I have some of the hardware that I've set out to show you is. Problems that I had. Okay. These are quarter 20 bolts, grade five. And they're not bad, I'll be honest with you. I use this on my main array, but with that 600 watt panel going to be up in the air. Uh, I went with, I believe these are 3 8 a little bit bigger, stronger, heavier duty. And I'll show you on the back of the panels what I what I did. But these are nylon. We call we used to call these Air Force nuts with the um, self locking in there too. Now check out this washer right here. I had with the quarter 20. Tell me what's wrong with that picture. Crap. Chinese soft metal crap. So I went with <clears throat> hardened washers at Lowe's. They're, they're kind of pricey. And overall on this project, I'm up to about 280 bucks in hardware and super strut and everything. So it's still less expensive to do it. And I think it's probably stronger overall. But man, I tell you, when you're learning on the, on the fly here, you, you learn fast especially in Oklahoma wind but there's the pile of quarter 20s that I took off and then these are uh, what I, I still haven't finished all of them on the array I got four more on the bottom I need to put in but I, I can't get to it while it's sitting down on the deck so let's go over to the um, let's go over to the array here and I'll show you what I did First thing is obvious is I got, I took the stuff that I had here, which was this way, and I put this thicker, much thicker, <laughs> super strut, three pieces. And those were about 20 bucks or 18 bucks a piece. I can't remember exactly. But I took what I had off and put those in there, much better. And I used Oh, big honking freaking bolts in here in that hardened washer there okay now this right here is what attaches 
to the solar panels themselves. Look at what I put in here. See that? And I got a nice washer on the, you can probably see that on the other side there a little bit. And that mates up just beautifully. Good and, good and strong. Okay. Now here's a real sexy thing. See this cross brace right here? That really strengthened it up quite a bit. The only problem is I didn't quite get all thread on there, but I think that'll be okay. And when I cut this, I didn't measure it very well. So I should have gone just a little bit further so I can get a bolt in there if I ever want to put a bolt in there. But I tell you, this thing is, <laughs> Man, I tell you, this is really structurally rigid. And this thing is putting out some power too. I'm gonna get some band clamps for up there. Uh, I just haven't gotten to it yet. I wanted to make this video and show everybody what's going on. Now here's the, I was, this whole array is, that's the top down there. So it's sitting on its top right now. Okay, so this whole thing's gonna be flipped up. Now the pivot, I've got brackets to hold this pipe in right here. This pipe is not what I'm gonna use as the pivot point. See here, it's a 10 foot section. This is that hollow stuff. It's not going to be strong enough. So I'm going to get a, this is a three quarter inch. I'm going to get a solid rod and it just, just slides in there beautifully in that super strut. And I've got some clamps, you know, to hold it in place and all that stuff too. And then this whole thing is just going to sit and sit up right here with those four by four or four by six posts. And I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna, I may do a, a V thing and, put, and set it down there and then be able to pivot and adjust and then use the super strut as an adjusting rod and bolt it in so it has four points on the panel. So that's the top there, that's the middle, and that's gonna be the bottom. And I'll use this as my adjusting point. Very similar to what this is. Okay, and then it'll attach to one point on the on the four by six. So there you have it. It's gonna work out pretty good. <laughs> I really like it. I really like this array. I should show you the power output right now. Uh, with this sun. Look at that sun. Wow. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Beautiful weather. It's supposed to be 70 degrees. 72 is what the lady said at Lowell's. So there it is. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate you dealing with this wind noise and everything else. And and take care, and, and uh, we'll see you next time, okay? Later.